Hi everyone, hope everyone is doing fine today. So in the past couple of weeks, uh, I've been um, only making uh, unboxing videos as I was in vacation. So I was uh, I already pre-recorded them and uploaded them. Uh, so today I thought uh, I would uh, review or at least give my first impression of uh, one of the watches I got uh, uh, on my vacation. And uh, this watch is a GMT watch. Uh, German watch called Insignium. So uh, let me first fix this up like that because then the GMT hand is uh, aligned with the 12. So Insignium is a German watch i've never heard of it before uh, before i got it to be honest as well let me give it a bit of loom so you can see the loom so as you can see it's a gmt automatic watch um 43 millimeters in diameter unidirection or actually unidirectional bezel so only goes in one direction which is good it feels like a diver bezel more than a, a GMT bezel to be honest but that's good because you can align it perfectly to the 12 clock as you can see and uh, 120 clicks so as I said 43 millimeters in diameter 13.5 millimeters thickness and Lug to lug, it was actually 50, 51.5. Uh, so you can see here is the case back, sapphire glass, and it's limited to 499 pieces. So this is number 323. So limited edition, 30 atmos, so 300 meters water resistance. Came with a uh, really nice box, traveling box, uh, like a leather box and uh, a metal bracelet. And uh, I took out the metal bracelet because it was really heavy. It's like 190 grams uh, on the bracelet. And um, of course, it's all 316L steel bracelet and uh, watch. And uh, the bracelet was really nice, to be honest. Uh, if you have a big wrist, my wrist is not that big. By the way, this is my 42 millimeter Seiko 5. This is Saturday, so I'm wearing my Seiko. And uh, um, actually, good thing I'm wearing this one because it's also 22 millimeters lug width, while this one also is 22 millimeters lug width. And I can show you how it will look like on a rubber strap as well. As you saw it on the NATO, I'll uh, insert some pictures. If you're interested, also, uh, you can check my inst Instagram account dedicated for watches where I post uh, pictures of the watches and uh, when I'm reviewing a watch I usually take it out uh, for a photo, a small photo shoot and uh, yeah, you can check it out Abdul R Watches Instagram uh, link in the description down below as well so, as I was saying, uh, I wanted to try this out now on rubber I didn't try it out on rubber before, I wore it on the uh, the NATO um, the whole time the, the week and uh, it was really nice um, let me see why is it not working maybe I have to pause and then put it and then come back to you guys so I put the strap on it was a little bit uh, challenging but to be honest, it looks quite nice. And uh, yeah, I put this on, <laughs> on the back side. So yeah, the watch, uh, like I said, German made. Uh, the caliber inside, I had to research it. It's called DG3804B. And it's a Chinese GMT. Well, the people online are saying it's not a bad movement, but uh, as I was uh, as I was saying, I put it on the time graph. I will put it on the time graph and show you uh, the performance of it. 
and uh, sometimes when I'm fixing the watch it's a bit fiddly it jumps actually it looks really nice with this isopro as you can see so by the way I uh, decided on selling this watch so if you're interested in buying this watch and it's still for sale uh, write me a message and uh, yeah I'll send you this strap on top of it because it looks really good with this strap to be honest I think I'll leave it on this one <laughs> so as I was saying yeah what can I say more about the watch yeah it why am I selling it it's, it's a bit large the watch is really good it's heavy uh, like I was saying um, a bit large for myself for my wrist but on the rubber strap it actually fits quite nicely as you can see here the GMT I can actually move this so I can show you a better view of of the of the dial so as you can see there is also an o-ring in the and the crown there is an o-ring and it's also screw screw down crown so you have to screw it in so uh, sorry if I moved the watch too fastly because uh, sometimes I got com comments that uh, I move the watch uh, swiftly so that you cannot see. So as I was saying, the dial, really nice, wide dial, ton of loom, as you can see. Just sees the light and then it looms up. But now it's time to see how well it will perform. So... Let us bring us, let us bring the time grapher. Sorry about this. So let's leave the watch. So as I said, I'm going to test it in several positions. And each time I'm going to, I'm going to mute this. I'm going to give you the reading. So I'll pause here, wait a couple of minutes, and then... Uh, Pause it back so you'll be able to see the, the reading. As you can see, it started plus 28, plus 20, amplitude, healthy amplitude, 231, run okay, beat error 0 0.5, and it's running on 21,600 vibrations per hour. So, so on this position, it's around plus 25, it was plus 20, 32, plus 26, plus 29, so pretty stable around the plus 26. So let's switch it up to yeah. down and come back to it. So better performance uh, laying on the left side, as you can see, plus 6, plus 6, plus 13, plus 20. So it was under the 20, so maybe plus 15, let's say average. Let's stop it. Let's see face down sorry about the lighting there you go just wanted you to be able to read the screen so i'll start it come back to you in a couple of minutes so as you can see over plus 34 36 plus 39 plus 34 so let's say plus 36 and the last one, the right one, the right side, starts plus 40. Amplitude is also going, but it's still around the, over the 200. Yeah, just went down. Maybe we'll give it another restart and pause it and then come back in a couple of minutes and see the performance. So better performance on that side. So at the end, it's around plus 20, maybe on average for the watch. So my final impressions on them, let me put it on my wrist. That's the correct time.
perfect. So, my final thoughts on the watch. I like the watch, just a little bit too big for my wrist, and a little too heavy for my taste. Other than that, very cool watch for the price. If you're interested in this watch, leave a comment down below. If you have a question, have a comment, also leave it down below. And as, uh, also, if you like the content, would be nice to leave a like and also subscribe. And hopefully see you in another video. Thank you. Bye.